is Christina Salerno and I'm the creator and curator of Living Quirky. Today we're going to be doing a segment called Eating Quirky and I'm going to be making the purple cabbage eater. And here are our ingredients. We have pretty obviously some bell peppers, scallions, ginger, garlic, cabbage, gotta have some cabbage if it's in the name, um, some beef, we got some water chestnuts, this is my secret sauce, <laughs> coconut aminos, um, it's a replacement for soy sauce, and chili powder, Himalayan sea salt, and just a wee bit of coconut oil, don't worry you're not going to be using all of it. So it was only two years ago that my most elaborate dish was macaroni and cheese out of a box. So uh, I've come a long way so I'm just going to show you the basics and you'll have to excuse my pirate knife. <laughs> um, so to cut scallions I just like chop off the ends and I'll just do like so. big chunks of scallions. Oh, my eyes are starting to go. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. <sighs> there another form of onion. It's really, yeah. Uh-huh. Gosh, my, I'm just so happy you're watching it, right? Just, you know, this really makes my day. So we've got our little uh, scallion pile. Now we're gonna do the garlic and the ginger. I just kind of remove the outside of the garlic so it looks like this. And then I like to do a grater because I don't like big chunks of garlic. And then do the ginger. Wow, this is really not even doing anything. This is a horrible grater. It's just what are you using? Well, Jesus. This is like the worst grater ever. I don't even know what to do. It's like solid in there. You see that? It's like. didn't work. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> okay, so next up we're going to saute the scallions, garlic, and ginger. And I just take some coconut oil and slop it in there. So now we add Scallions and ginger and garlic. So while that's sauteing, then I like to chop up cabbage. And I like to do it just kind of like slicing off the slivers. You don't want it to be spitting because you want to make sure that the flash point isn't turning it into carcinogens. So you want it enough so that it's cooking, but not too much. To have it like medium, medium high because it's uh, add the cabbage. Now that we've uh, added the cabbage, we're going to add two tablespoons. Obviously, I'm not very scientific about this. Uh, you just want to like add some liquid and then cover it. So you want that to kind of steam up. So the next step is the uh, the beef. So these are just like stew meat that I get. It's like a pound, and 
I like it smaller so it's easier to bite. So I like make it like this kind of size. So now that we have all of our beef chopped up, um, we're going to check the cabbage. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you want it to look like. It's all like soft and looks like it's cooked, basically. And so then we just add the beef right on top. And cover it back up. So I have a uh, special way of doing my cutting bell peppers because I find that everybody has their own way. Seriously. What's, what's up with that? So I just slice it in half and then open it. And then it's like super easy. And just, there you go. You just slice that up. It's way easier than, I don't know how like people like try to chop around it. So let's check it out and see how it's doing. Alright, so yeah. Okay, so as you can see the meat is brown. So we're gonna go ahead and add the bell peppers. what? We're going to cover it back up again. But, I forgot something. Now, we need to add our spices. Um, so, how much to add depends on how spicy you want it. So, chili powder. And I'm going to go with just a quarter of a teaspoon, not really that big of one spice. Sprinkle it, and the sea salt, clearly. We have a little issue with the sea salt. Come on. So, more like rain, sea salt, that's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Well, I know, just a little more. So, we're stirring that up, and now we cover it back up again. So, I think pretty much anybody can do this part. Probably about the easiest part of the recipe. I don't even know. Can you get water chestnuts that aren't in the can? Like, what what do they even come like normally? Let me see a cork and screw. Alright, so I just rinse it, really. That's all I do for this part. Pretty easy. Alright, so let's check out our masterpiece. Uh-huh. So, you see how these are, well, you probably can't see, but the, the bell peppers are a little bit tender. I like them to a little bit crunchy still. So, as a last step, we just add the water chestnuts. And really, like, I like them crunchy, so I just basically heat them up. It's, I don't really cook them. Um... So cover that up for a second. And we're almost done. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and joining me here on Eating Quirky. My name is Christina Salerno. If you liked it, please share it, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, may the quirk be with you.